All right, guys, got us a cool little project this morning. Got the super stick back on the old 120, and we're gonna do us some pond dredging. All right, so for you guys that might be new to the channel and don't know what we're talking about, this is what we call the super stick extension right there actually got a video on the channel of building it and got several other videos on the channel using it we don't use it a whole lot but sure is handy when we need it is actually built out of a stick off another 120 so just take that and take it times two you guys get the point anyways what we're getting into this morning is a gentleman just kind of bought this farm and is trying to um trying to fix it up a little bit it was kind of let go this pond here was actually i believe for livestock they uh, they watered cattle or uh, livestock out of it and they no longer have the livestock on the property and they're wanting to kind of use it for fishing and stuff and what happens whenever you have livestock around these ponds is they kind of walk in there and they build a shelf around there and they kind of shove all this down in there and whenever you want to use it for fishing or something else it makes it really difficult so basically we're not going to drain any water out of this we're not going to do anything fancy we're just gonna go around the edge here and kind of taper that shelf back. So if you were looking underneath the water, it goes down, it goes out, and it goes down again. We just wanna make it go like that is kind of the goal. So I'm uh, not gonna get too carried away. We're basically just gonna take all the debris or all the mud or all the muck or whatever you wanna call it, throw it up here in the field behind, let it dry. Good possibility that's actually some really good topsoil. So after it dries out, we'll take the dozer and bust it out or level it out or do whatever you want to do with it. So anyways, let's get started. All right, here we go, guys. First couple, first couple passes with this thing are always a little bit interesting. It takes a little while to kind of get your sea legs back. I do got a bunch of holes cut in that bucket, which allows that water to drain out. And since we're not draining the water level down, we're kind of working a little bit blind. I'm going to put this dirt over here. That way I'm always working this way. And I don't have to worry about uh, hopefully working in any mud. But what my plan is, is I'm going to reach all I can reach. And then the last thing I'll do, the last thing I'll do is clean up the bank right there. That way once I clean that bank out, that's a pretty good measurement of me knowing where I've been and where I need to go. The 120 handles this thing fairly well. The reason I'm not using the Volvo, the Volvo would be handy to have the blade on it, but the Volvo does not have enough hydraulic strength to run the super stick got the balance just don't have the power so that puts us a little one trusty 120 here once you kind of get yourself in the rhythm it's not that bad to operate you can swing dirt just about as fast as what you can with uh, just about as fast as what you can with a regular uh, machine Gotta get it going here a little bit and I'll give you guys some shots of what we're doing.
apologize if my window's a little bit dirty. I don't want to get accidentally splashed with mud in the lap here in a minute because, uh, yeah, if history proves to be true, that's going to happen before this is over with. But as you guys can see, you kind of get in a little bit of a rhythm with it. You can move, uh, you can move quite a bit of material in a pretty short amount of time. It would probably work best if I would take the time to track straight down to the uh, water instead of going along it sideways here to balance the machine out a little bit better. But if you can get your timing just right, you can still lay her out there pretty smooth and get full extension on it. So what my uh, process is here, you guys can see that one there is all nasty mud. So that's pretty much laying on top of the old subgrade of the pond. I come back in here and get a little bit more aggressive where I've already been. You'll see some lighter brown, maybe some tan color stuff come up. And that is the original bottom. Let's see if we get any in this bucket. Yeah, we got some right there. I can feel it. See it? I can't really see it in there. Hold on. Let's see, dump it out and see if we can see it. No, we got some. I just don't think I can see it. Yeah, it's that clump right there. I'll give you guys a better look here in a little bit. That stuff there is the original bottom. So basically what we're doing is I can actually feel it because the stuff that's on top is really soft. And the hard bottom underneath, that bucket just kind of scoots right along it. We got some of this one here as well. That's the ultimate goal is to get back to that original bottom. I'm trying to get this stuff thrown up the hill enough. There it is right there, you see it? It may be hard for you guys to see, but it's right there. I'm trying to get this thrown up a hill enough that I can still get the machine walked down through here. I almost shot myself with the foot down there at the very beginning. We'll probably get that SRS tilt bucket and we'll pull a let's dig method down through here. And once we get all the uh, long stuff, all the long reach out of here, we'll come back with that tilt bucket and really kind of polish off the uh, Gonna polish off the edges. We're making pretty, pretty good. There's some. You guys see that? I'm trying to keep. There you go. There's a good example of it. That's the original bottom right there. See that different color material? This thing is pretty easy to dig with from about halfway of its stroke out. You get in a little bit closer to the machine and it gets a little bit a little bit trickier but within that reach i'll be able to get with that other bucket so the main goal of the super stick is to get the stuff that's far away and then we'll come back and tidy up with the srs bucket it's nice to have options folks it's nice to have options is doing pretty good this is actually the first job since we had it in the shop fixing that hydraulic leak and i just checked on it i don't see anything leaking so when the captain worked on the super stick i don't see anything leaking up there i think we're good to go all right moving on
jinx it guys but it is going pretty well i think i'm gonna set you guys up over here on the other side and uh it's time lapse for a little bit enjoy As you guys can see in the time lapse, we were getting along pretty good. The only issue I've got, I guess at one point, there's a high tensile fence around this thing. Uh, it goes back to there, we talked about it being um, possibly a livestock pond. And I have nothing to cut the fence. So we're just kind of gently pulling it up here along the edge, trying to keep it out of the tracks, trying to keep it out of the machine. I gotta run back to the office here at some point and pick up the um, SRS tilt bucket. So at that point, I'll grab something to where we can something to where we can go about uh, getting that fence cleaned up. We don't want to leave it around here, let it get stuck in a brush hog or something. Oh, come on! Now we're stuck in the mud. I'm pretty sure somebody has dredged this pond one time before because there's like a ledge out there i keep hitting that ledge and i think that's where they they dredged to and quit at it one point every time i use a super stick on the old 120 you guys always comment that i need more uh i need more counterweight but actually i don't need more counterweight i need less buckets it's actually a 36 inch high capacity bucket that's made to go on one of these machines straight without the attachment on it. We got some holes cut in it and it's pretty wore out so it's been lightened up a little bit but it works you just kind of got to be uh, a little bit fluid with them fluid with what you do with it. So my method I've kind of got going on here it works out pretty good as I reach out here as far as I can I try to keep at least three or four foot deep which is basically the depth of the bucket get it in here close to myself swing it out and then once I'm pretty confident I got the majority of the dirt right there or the mud or the sludge whatever you want to call it I'll actually reach out across it this way and come across it the opposite direction if there's any ridges in there, I can kind of feel those and know I missed the spot. That right there actually feels pretty good. I just hit one right there. See how my boom kind of changed direction? I'll kind of make a mental note of where that's at. Whenever I come back for my next swing, we'll swing out and make a pass right there, which basically means I got a gap where I come through. See if we get it. Oh yeah, I think we got it right there. See it rolling up? Obviously I can't see underneath water, so we just kind of got to do it all by feel, but... You 
can reach out there and get it both ways. Pretty good indication that you got it. See if we come through it now. Oh yeah. One more little ridge right there and I think we'll have it. We'll move on. Easy, that's a little too far. Keep on going. I kind of left a little bit of a gap in my spool pile right there. There's actually a little bit of a ditch coming down through there. I don't want to accidentally make a little lake up there in the field. Cause the farmer any issues, so we'll leave that be. question I get asked all the time when operating this thing is how do we go about doing it so this movement right here you guys can see which is back and forth that would actually be dump our crowd with the bucket which is now basically the stick in and out what would normally be the stick function which is this one here we don't use there as much it kind of becomes part of the main boom within reason and obviously this is still up and down over here. Now, the trigger, which used to be close the thumb, now curls the bucket, the button up here on top, empties it. What I figured out works best, is within reason, if I can keep the stick in the boom somewhat straight, you'll see me kind of curl the stick in here a little bit, and once I get close, I actually curl the bucket in, Keep it to last, and if I get this position right here, I know I can handle a full bucket. And I'll just kind of cast it out there, dump it like so. I'll try to get that stick within reason back straight up real top, kind of keep it down low, set her down in the water, then all over again. It takes a little bit to get used to, but once you get the hang of it, you can get pretty quick with it. guys we're about to get it we don't have a whole lot further to go everything down this side where it's a little bit steeper i don't think there's a whole lot out there i think we'll be able to reach it with the srs bucket so i'm gonna finish up this little bit of a quarter here show you what we got and then we'll track over the hill and uh switch out the super stick for the hill bucket Alrighty, I think this is where our time with the super stick is going to come to the end. I've got all the way around to right there, and then once we get to where the bank's steeper, there's just not a whole lot of sludge out there. I think we just need to switch over to the SRS bucket, get all this stuff pulled back, and get that looking good around there. So let me track down, switch buckets, we'll come back. I'm not sure where we'll start. We may start on the dam and come back this way to us and just clean our way around and uh, see what she looks like. So. Right, guys we have made it back up here i'm going to start by going across the dam we're just going to kind of get everything kind of cleaned up here make her look nice and pretty all this stuff's going to go over the bank still in uh super stick mode you see me try to uh tilt the bucket there 
been a while since I've used the old uh, tail bucket, but uh, man, as Chris has proved on his channel, it is hard to beat one of these things cleaning up around the pond. There is no doubt about that whatsoever. pond dam's in pretty rough shape across here but that is not on the agenda to fix so we're just gonna we're just gonna shave her up and call her good Check that out guys, it's looking pretty sharp. If I don't say so myself, the old uh, SRS tilt bucket and the super stick sure make a pretty good team going around these ponds for sure. I'd like to do a little bit more, maybe straighten that edge up and level it off, but I know it's hard to see with the brush on this side. The dam is not in the best shape. It's uh, either got some settling, possible leaks, possible washouts. I don't want to get too carried away and cause any problems. So we're just gonna kind of leave it as is. Like I said, it's just basically gonna be a fishing hole. They wanna get with like a mow around it, put a filter strip around it and uh, use it as a fishing hole. Had one clump of grass get away from me out there. He's actually out there floating. Hopefully the wind will blow him back over, but uh, pretty much got around to the cedar tree. This cedar tree here stays, that one goes. We need to go down through there, get that all cleaned up. So I'm gonna let you guys time-lapse a little bit.
that looks absolutely fantastic down through there i don't know if you guys can tell by the sun going down but it is actually late i did not get started on this till like noon today and uh pretty happy with the progress we made on it we'll be back in the morning i'd say two two and a half hours we should have this job wrapped up so see you guys tomorrow good morning guys we are back for another day let's get this party started all right guys we're up and rolling this morning it has been a little bit of a struggle i am still fighting a high tensile fan you guys remember talking about yesterday i said i needed to remember to bring something to cut it well guess what i forgot something to cut the fence so i'm trying really hard not to get it wrapped around the bucket I'm trying really hard not to get it wrapped around the tracks that is easier said than done because I've already stacked the hydraulic line this morning and busted it. Fortunately, it was a short one. I was able to just kind of bypass. So I'm hoping we can still get by, but we are going to have to be careful. The good news is I am at least getting ready to turn the corner on the home stretch here. Trying to also take and kind of knock down the spoil pile from the super stick to kind of spread it out a little bit. That way if the uh, landowner comes back with his tractor, he's at least got a chance to get it spread out. Or if nothing else, it'll kind of dry a little better. If we come back later with the dozer. This fence has proved make this job a lot more difficult than what it needs to be. process is if we can clean get cleaned uh i don't know 10 12 feet away from the pond here that'll give us the option later to come back with a different piece of equipment and uh get her cleaned up real nice so kind of slowly working my way around and away
now you guys kind of see the process and see how it's working out. I am most of the way around this thing. Let me finish up this last little run and uh, we'll check her out. right here guys it turned out awesome like I said before the ultimate goal is is once this dirt dries out a little bit either we'll be back in here with the dozer and the landowner's got to do with his tractor basically he's going to level that out and try to get maybe 30 or 40 feet keep it grass which will kind of be a filter strip to uh, keep all this dirt and silt from washing back down in there again so Hopefully, between now and then, this berm will kind of protect it a little bit and uh, should end up being a pretty nice little fishing hole for them. So, I'm going to clean up this last little corner here. Got a couple buckets left. I need to put on the uh, other bucket and go over there. We got a little bit of brush over that cedar tree I need to throw around. I'll throw the drone in the sky and show you guys what it looks like from there. And we're going to call it. Well, there it is after it's all said and done guys like i said the super stick and the tilt bucket sure make easy work of a job like this thankful to have both of those tools in the arsenal so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did give her a big old thumbs up want to make sure you don't miss out on what's coming up next consider subscribing that way we can catch you guys on the next one thanks for watching